Yeah, I thought we played with really good pace in the second half. Uh, I thought we shared the basketball, did a good job moving the basketball. Um, as I just said on the radio show, 99 uh, first half passes. So, uh, you know, we took four what I would consider selfish shots um, that we want to try to clean up on. But for the most part, I thought the guys played really good offensively. Defensively, we definitely have to get better defending the three. Um, that'll be a point of emphasis just between now and, and Saturday when we play. Uh, North Texas, who's a really well-coached team and has a lot of talent, a lot of seniors. Uh, anyway, we'll go with questions, Mike. If we're cool Bob. Yeah, Eric, what do you think of your all's three points, you know, especially in the first half? You guys were over over 60%. Nice pass, Bob. I like that Packer mask. I'll try to get you on. <laughs> Uh, I thought they did a great, you know, I thought we did a really good job of, of getting our feet set. And, uh, you know, the starters, you know, Vance did a great job being really aggressive from that three-point line. And then when Connor came in, uh, he was phenomenal. It's, it's interesting, when I walked into the building, uh, Connor and JD and, and Justin were all like, getting shots really, really early already in uniform. And I, I don't know what it is with, with Connor, but whenever the lights are on, um, he's just a different player. So he's he's done a phenomenal job uh, getting his feet set. And I thought they also had helped us on the uh, defensive backboards as well. And, and you said the other day, you know, Connor missed a lot of time. Was that mainly injuries or just being sick? And were you surprised he did so well, you know, considering that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have great, great confidence in him and such a good guy. Uh, it was more sick. It really wasn't injuries. Uh, you know, he just was, you know, unfortunate – you know, sickness um, off and on for, for a good portion of, of our, you know, I think I said the other day, that's like 21 um, practices. He's done a great job of getting extra work in my computer's day. Yeah, well, I'll let some other guys get in some questions. Hey, Mike, you're going to mute when Coach is talking, okay? Uh, Scotty, you want to jump in here? Yeah, Coach, what did you uh, what you think of Vance tonight? No, he threw up an air ball, I think, on his first shot, and then he, got, he warmed up pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, obviously, having played against Vance and seeing him every day in practice, we know he's one of the nation's best three-point shooters. He gets his feet set, and he gets his rhythm, um, which he did after that first shot. You know, we know he's lethal from three. Um, you know, and I thought he really did a great job of playing within himself. Himself. We need we need Vance to get more loose balls and to rebound the ball a little bit better. Um, but offensively, no surprise whatsoever. You know, the big thing with Vance is just doing it consistently. Because um, in the Mountain West, I thought he was one of the best players in the country on any given night. So, so it's going to be very important for Vance to every single night through 27 games to get himself mentally focused and mentally ready to play like he did tonight. Even if the threes aren't falling like like they were tonight, he can help us in so many different areas because he's got great length and great size and he can, you know, he can play off the bounce. He can shoot the three and, and he's an underrated post-up player as well. Yeah, Eric, I mean, second most points in school history, but the first couple of minutes uh, were a little bit sloppy. I mean, was that just kind of a matter of first game jitters, first game back in, you know, several months? You know, it's interesting, Hutch, because because like I asked the guys before the game if they were nervous and and they I, I don't know if I've had a team say, yeah, um, but they did. You know, they raised their hands. They were honest. Um, I mean, it's been a long time since we've competed. Um, conversely, for me, it was the first time that I was really relaxed, um, maybe in, in a long, long time. I, I felt like I was going to practice today. It was a it was a different, unique feeling for me. Um, but I do think that our guys, I think there was some angst, which is really good. Um, you know, but like I said, I think it's really, it's, it's, it's great that we got so many people in. I, I purposely subbed quickly 
um, early, early on in the game and tried to get as many guys as I could in that first half, especially the first 10 minutes of the game. If you've got more questions in the chat. Nate? Um, well, it's just about mixing in the zone, which really didn't do much last year. Kind of what's prompted that to, uh, to try some zone and some pressing? My mom, um, she continually <laughs> talked about my uh, – Father's book, 33.9. She actually sent me a copy of the book, 33.9. I think it was probably published in the, in the late 60s. Um, and she asked me, why would I not run a defense that he was so successful with at the University of Minnesota? And so we implemented, but we, but it, but we gave up too many threes. I wasn't very happy with the zone. But, but you know what? It, it gives us another... Um, you know, tool in our toolbox to go to if, if we need it. But I, I thought our man-to-man -man was, was much, much better than our zone. Curtis. Hey, Coach, being able to get all 11 guys in like that, what, what does that do for confidence, especially to, to get everyone on the board like that? And then you had eight and double figures. In practice, does this strike you as a team that could have that kind of balance? Yeah, I mean – I don't know if we're going to, I mean, we're, we're not going to play that many, you know, players like we did. I, you know, I watched the game earlier today. I won't say who, but, um, the, you know, they made substitutions a minute and a half in the game. And I, like a minute and a half or two minutes, you can't even get a sweat. I don't, I, I don't want to coach the team like that. I want them to play with confidence. Um, I don't want to be worried about getting yanked out of a game. Um, but I made, I did make a conscious effort coming into tonight's game that we were going to sub and we, you know, we had a, just like we have a script for our offensive plays and a script for our side out. I did have a scripted minutes segment, but I mean, look, I mean, the, the Justin Smith's going to play more minutes than that. Vance is going to play more minutes and Jalen Tate's going to play more and Desi's going to play more minutes. I mean, the, the, those, those guys are going to, you know, they're going to play more than they did. And Connor's probably going to play more than he did tonight. So um, eventually, you know, it's it for me. Every coach is different. For me to play eleven guys is is near impossible. Alyssa, hey coach, wanted to ask about the rebounding. I know from last year's team that was a point of emphasis is to get more uh, production off the glass. Fifty eight today total. What did you feel about your rebounding from your team today? I mean, I thought we were better, but but you know we. I mean, we got a. You know the 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 lack of loose balls and the lack of rebounding at times. I mean, I I watched Coach Neighbor's team to play they, today. They got they got every loose ball. I mean, I don't think there was a loose ball that 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 Coach Neighbor's team didn't get today. I mean, it, every single one. I mean, it, they outreacted. Uh, you know their opponent and and uh, I we we there was too many loose balls that we didn't get to. Um, you know, eleven offensive rebounds is is too many offensive rebounds, and then defending the three. I mean. Those are, you know, two areas that, that, that we that we got to get better at. Troy? Yeah, Coach, uh, team wins by 80. And, you know, from my humble viewership, it looked like your team was just playing hard the entire time. What do you like about the uh, energy that your team brought today? Yeah, I thought, I thought we played, you know, really hard. I, I, again, I mean, I, you know, I'm glad that we can go back to the video. I'm, I'm proud of them. Like, they, like I said, they shared the ball. Um, when you get up like, like by a lot of points, I think it's it's human nature uh, to take your, your foot off the gas a little bit and to, to, to get a little, you know, discombobulated and a little selfish. I didn't think they did that. I thought they were executing play sets. Even with a minute 19 to go, uh, we executed a, a play. Um, so I'm really proud of that. I, like I said, I thought there was only a handful of bad shots the entire game. And you know, sometimes, you know, that turns into what people would determine garbage time and, and it gets really sloppy. But we told the guys, like, you got to play your minutes. You're still being evaluated. Um, you know, this is part of your resume. Well, you, you know, any minute you get on the basketball floor is on your resume. And, and um, I thought, I, again, I thought for the most part we played the right way. Um, but, but I need them to buy into to, to, to defend this three at the level that, that, that I want them to. Uh, Coach, do you think you've ever coached a team that scored 142 in a game? I'm, there's no question I have in the G League. Um, and that Warriors team was second in the NBA in scoring. Um, 
one year. So I'm, I mean, I don't have any stats in front of me, but I certainly hope that our Golden State team that was second in the NBA scored that much. But again, I don't, I don't have anything in front of me. Probably not in college, though. It's probably, I mean, this is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the most we scored at Nevada. I, I, I really don't. But it's, you know, it probably is. But we still got to defend the three better. Bob. Uh, Eric, I, I know Mississippi Valley State in uh, Kentucky or whatever, but to, to score that much and, you know, win by 80, I mean, are, do you feel good about that? I mean, I feel good about our effort. Um, I feel good about how we've shared the ball. Um, I feel good that, you know, everybody got to get in the game and everybody probably is walking out of our locker room uh, more confident than they were coming in. Um, but, but, you know, I mean, it, to me, Bob, it's kind of on to North Texas. And, you know, how are we gonna defend Reese? And how are we gonna defend Hamlet? And, um, I've, you know, I've, 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 I've studied uh, their roster and film a little bit already. And, and um, you know, they got a big guy inside and Simmons. And, and so, I, I mean, I've already got their depth chart memorized and, and, and now we need our, our guys to as well. And, and, you know, they, they've got some players you faced last year. Does, does that help out on a short turnaround? Yeah, I, I think it, you know, maybe. By the way, the news release just in, Mike Kaywood is doing his job. Um, he said the most we scored at Nevada was 119. Um, so this is a new high. Thank you, Coach Kaywood, for being alert. Even though we screwed up our, our audio, Co Coach Kaywood came back and uh, scored off of his earlier turnover. Two more, Hutch. Yeah, Eric, uh, I think Moses shot the ball particularly well, but you look up, he has 18 points, half of those on the free throw line. What did you think of his debut tonight? Yeah, I thought, you know, nine of 10 from the foul line, I thought he did a really, really good job um, converting his free throws. Um, um, he's got to rebound the ball better defensively. Um, one defensive rebound against, you know, probably, you know, the smallest team that we play. We, we need more rebounds from our small forward. Um, and then we need good shot selection at all times as well across the board. But really, really happy that, you know, I mean, it's hard to get 13 shots up. He got, you know, more field goals attempted than anyone on our team. And I think a lot of times that happens with guys that are creative with their, with, with their ability to, to beat people off the bounce. But again, 10 free throws in your first college game is a lot. So I, I thought he did a really, really good job. Um, you know, 18 points in 23 minutes is, is pretty doggone good. We just want him to focus on the defensive backboards as well. Aiden. Hey, Coach, forgive me if you've already been asked this. I've been having some technical difficulties myself. Um, in a game you win by 80 points, a lot of excitement. But uh, I, there was some frustration just from the TV broadcast, visibly maybe in the first half after a three for Mississippi Valley State. Notice you gave a good kick to a chair. Uh, just how's your foot doing this evening? Oh, it's fine. Um, I'm good. Deadly. Hey, the, uh, obviously you had four freshmen playing in their first college game. How did you think they prepared for the day and the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, you know, Moses got, you know, he got the start. And, um, you know, I thought all of them played well. I mean, I, I thought KK came in and, and was phenomenal. I mean, um, he was barking out orders. He was, he was a, I mean, he was a confident uh, point guard out there. I thought he did a good job defensively. I thought... Jalen Williams did a really, really good job. And then, and then I thought Debo, you know, played his minutes as well. Um, so I thought all four of them did a, you know, did a really, really good job for us tonight. Last one, Nate. As far as, as North Texas, any particular keys that you, uh, you feel you got to do against them? Just they're an experienced team. You know, they don't, they don't rush shots. Um, you know, we don't want we, we want to try to control the pace um, of the basketball game. And, and uh, we've got to take care of Simmons inside, not let him get easy touches. We got to really guard Hamlet. 
and we got to know where Reese is at all times. Those are, those are the three things off the top of my head, but we'll really start diving into them tonight uh, once, once I get off with, with all my friends on this Zoom. All right, Mus, we'll let you get to it. Happy Thanksgiving, Coach.